Massage therapy is expected for Olympians, but what about for eight-year-old track and field athletes? Massage is only one part of an innovative approach coach Mike Cuntliff has used to produce multiple track and field All-American athletes in the short two-year period since he founded the Seattle Speed and Track Club. The former USATF All-American athlete and long jumper for Washington State University filled us in on his coaching style when we caught up with him at the LA Jets Invitational back in May. Essentially, we wanted to allow the kids to have a more proper or more correct way of training that would keep them injury free. Uh, they were able to train with a lot of the top athletes that ran in the Pac-10 back in my day and get proper technique training. We have uh, chiropractors and massage therapists that work with the kids and donate their time. And it just allows the kids to stay healthy, get the proper training, and when kids run faster, they're happy. We have a, a four-pronged approach. So we focus on flexibility, then there's actually a whole section set aside for flexibility training, combination of yoga with Pilates type movements, then we work on the actual running on the track, that's two days a week, and then we do plyometric work and some strength work with the older kids. Coach Mike said mental preparation and individual attention are also key components of his coaching style. We had this meet on the schedule nine months before we got here. Uh, you get the kids ready by training them in specific ways two weeks prior to getting here. Uh, there's the mental aspect of getting them ready. One of the ways is just letting them be kids and letting them get nervous the way they get nervous, reinforcing that that's okay. If you need to cry, cry, but run fast while you're crying. And each athlete is motivated in a different way. So some of the kids I may talk to, some of the kids I may not talk to, just depending on their makeup, right? That's part of coaching. Right, so as you know, interviewing all, a lot of athletes, that's what we try to do is understand each athlete. We have eight coaches dealing with 35 athletes plus one massage therapist uh, and three chiropractors. So we're able to take each kid and really think about them in order to move them along. When it comes to the younger kids, Coach Mike says his training focuses on speed rather than distance. I was told by a friend of mine who's somewhat of a mentor and a very wise man in track and field. And we had a discussion about training younger kids about three years ago. And he told me, he said, Mike, I want you to look at your own children on the playground at lunch. What do they do? They sit for three hours. Once they get up after sitting for three, three hours, they don't stretch. They don't do any dynamics. They do nothing. They don't hydrate. And they sprint out to the playground for 30 meters. And they come to a hard stop, no injury. Then they sprint around and do speed bursts of three meters to 15 meters for a half hour no injury. They drop off the monkey bars, they jump up two feet onto the castle and they run around. So they do plyometrics and speed bursts for 30 minutes and then go sit down. No injury. They're designed and hardwired for speed and explosion at this age. The body's not able to handle a lot of lactic acid buildup. They're more designed for anaerobic activities, not aerobic activities. So we focus on that, and as they get a little older, 12, 13, then we start opening the distances up. Coach Mike also stressed that track and field training benefits all athletes. Well, uh, track and field goes across all sports, and we coach a lot of the top football players in the, our area, and I spend a lot of time on the phone with parents down in Oregon and different parts of the country, and I tell everybody track and field is the most healthy sport for, that you can do for your kids. Also, it helps you in football, baseball, and basketball. There was a young man in the Seattle area, and his father was a F Division I football player. His son, Taylor Mays, went to O'Day High School uh, in central downtown. Now, his son didn't play a lot of football when he was young. Now, that's strange for a Division I football player. Then when he got to high school, he began to play football. But he focused Taylor on speed. Taylor ran 10-7 in 100 meters as a senior in high school, he got recruited by Pete Carroll, went to USC, is the starting safety as a freshman, second fastest kid on the team, and if he wants to go to the NFL early, he will. Now, if Taylor was focusing on football, but only ran 11-5 in high school, he would have never gone to USC. So it, 
getting the scholarship and moving to the next level isn't dependent upon playing football when you're 8, 9, and 10. It depends on what's your vertical, what's your 40 and 100 time, and what are your grades and can you handle the playbook. So if that's the criteria and you're a football player, you better make that your core training, core, your core training focus. Coach Mike's core training focus sure paid off last month when his 25 team members took home 26 medals at the AAU Junior Olympic National Championships. We'll be sure to keep a lookout for those guys in 2012.